SEMA show is full of parts from all different varieties that you can modify cars with, but the original parts group, as their name suggests, right, is all about original parts. Tony Genty, you guys this time have brought out something near and dear to my heart, 64 Riviera. Yes. And um, this isn't an original car, this is restored, but using a lot of your stuff? Yeah, that's true, that's true. It's uh, We got it, it was in pretty bad shape, I gotta be honest with you, it was, uh, front end was smashed in, um, yeah, there wasn't really a straight panel on the car. <laughs> But the reason we got it was because the interior was intact. And uh, when we go into a new car line, like our new Riviera line, uh, we start to develop new products that aren't available in the marketplace. And we knew that we wanted to you know, start doing seats and doors, uh, armrest pads, dashes. So we knew the car was in good condition for that. So that's what we started with. Um, and then, yeah, just kind of thought, ah, it would be kind of clean. Let's clean it up. It's a neat car. And then we're working with our shops. And we said, uh, oh, we're going to take it to SEMA. Uh -huh. and then it happens. And then it happens. Then the bar gets raised up a little bit higher. Yeah. But it does feature a lot of the products that are available in our new Riviera catalog, uh -huh. including the interior, not only for 64, but from 63 all the way through 72. And that's got to be a tremendous investment because these cars, I mean, they're really killer, but it's not like the number one most popular car to restore. So to invest in doing complete interiors for like basically, you know, almost from the beginning up through the 70s, yeah. that's a big deal. It's a smaller market, of, of course there is the investment, but that's what Original Parts Group is about. You know, we're really investing to keep these cars on the road and uh, and to support the, the industry that we all love and work in, you know? Mm -hmm. And so for us, it's uh, it's a passion. You know, you've you known us a long time. We're all a bunch of car guys out there. Uh, Riviera is just a great, great car. The owners are great people. And uh, you know, like always, you start making more parts, you start seeing more cars. They start coming out of the woodworks a little bit more, and we're already seeing that. Now, does this car wear the actual parts that are available, or is this like the, the secret set of development stuff <laughs> that's the SEMA ones, or is this what we can buy off the shelf? No, this is what you can buy off the shelf. The, 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 the upholstery is done, the door panels are done. There's a few things that we use that were original that we had that just aren't available. The, some of the stuff in the front end is still not available yet, but a lot of the components you're seeing, the weather stripping, the emblems, the, the interior components, uh, some of the engine detail stuff, mirrors, chrome, door handles, those are all items you get right out of our catalog or off our website. Awesome. So, uh, what is this car? Is this a 401 car? Or? 425. 425 car. Nailhead. Right yeah. on. Yeah. Super Turbine 300. Yep, that's exactly it. You know your ribs. Yeah, I, you know, I always I know. like talking reviewers with you. You've had a couple, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. I've, I've had many. Yeah. Not this nice. <laughs> but, but I've had a bunch. Yeah, right. And um, this is wearing its original color scheme and all that jazz? Original color scheme, yeah. Arctic Any cool white, options? Yeah. Um, you know, it's got the, the you know nice deluxe interior. You know, one of the coolest things I think the Riviera had was the, the paddle handles in the back. Oh yeah, the deluxe you know, cars. The deluxe cars. So you know, if you're in the back seat, you can actually open the door. You right. know, kind of cool. Yeah. Um, you know, just your typical options. They didn't have power windows. Kind of strange. But that is strange. Most of these cars did. Yeah. Most of them had air and power windows. Yeah, it has the air. It has the has the power seat. Uh, but it didn't have power windows. But that's okay. It's still you know it's still a good car. Is this a vacuum door lock car? No, huh, we're, we're, we're manually in the doors and we're doing manual on the windows. Wow. So. I love it, it's very, very cool. Yeah, I love it too. It came out really nice. We're real happy with uh, the overall product. It's really good to see how the products are fitting. You know, that's yeah. really what it comes down to. You know, we're selling these parts and we want to make sure, you know, that we like the way they're going on our own cars. So when we're selling them to the consumer, uh, they'll be happy the way it goes on their car. Well, and, and I think that lends just tremendous credibility when you guys are willing to step up and, and do a restoration like right. this. It's not cheap, it's not easy, it takes a lot of time right. uh, just to see if the stuff's going to work. Right. You know, yeah, exactly. that's saying a lot. Yeah. And uh, so in addition to the Riv line, your other recent catalogs have been the Cadillac stuff. How's that going? Yeah, Cadillac's going really good. We're actually uh, on our third edition of that catalog. The second one's out right now. The third, uh, third version will be out uh, right after the first of the year. We're picking up new products every day on that, and we're, and we're making some cool, exciting stuff that we're real excited about that's going to be out in the spring. And then you're going to let out? Sneak, uh, yeah, a couple, couple interior things, a couple exterior things, some things that people really need. Yeah. So I, I guess you guys focus on the things that wear out first? Yeah. Well, yeah. You know, after 30 years, you start to get a pretty good you know, gauge on, you know, you know, on. on what people need to replace on every, every make and model. Yeah. Um, you know, and, uh, you know, as we've done for the A body and the G body line for so many years, uh, there's just certain items you just go, hey, you know what? It's bad on every car, right? And let's get it out there in the marketplace. And there's also uh, uh, a big uh, Pontiac catalog, right? The yeah, big, 
big. big car. And we're talking yeah, right. big. Yeah, we're talking uh, Catalina, Bonneville, and Grand Prix. And yeah. all the parts are online right now, so you can start you know, going right on the website. Catalog's done and will be out uh, right after spring. Those cars are so cool. We shot a feature of a, a 64 Catalina. So cool. Uh, that it's just, it sucks you don't see them very often. Yeah, you know you don't. And uh, once again, we're, you know, it's a smaller market, but we're making some investment in a lot of product. And uh, we're really hoping that people will get encouraged to, you know, pull them out of their garage and, and start putting some parts on now that they'll know they're available. You know, this whole luxury muscle car thing is just so cool. You know, this car it got big motor in it. Yeah, right. Yeah. But it's, uh, you know, you can drive it to your best restaurant in town in valet and feel real comfortable, you know? Well, let me ask you something else on the existing lines, like the A-body stuff you guys had forever, great catalog. Um, do you guys find yourself revising parts over the years? Like, is there sheet metal that has been changed or newer versions of parts that used to be available? A absolutely. You know, the product, that, some of the product that came out, you know, 20, 25 years ago, um, you know, it was, you could almost about make anything back then and people were just happy to have something available. Sure. Uh, today, you know, the quality of the cars that are being built and the value that they're bringing, it, it, you better be perfect with it. And a lot of those the early products have been redeveloped, re-engineered and retooled. Uh, using you know the latest technology and equipment to produce a better product, and, so and we're working on it all the time. It's worth it to keep current on the catalog and on yeah, the you, should, you know always see the catalog, and you know if you got a part that you might have bought a, a while ago from any shop, it doesn't not even our industry, just anywhere. Sure, you might want to touch base with the, whoever they are because uh, people are always looking to clean things up. Right on. We, we got a couple of new emblems we're redoing for Chevelle right now. Oh, okay. They've been in the marketplace for a while, but we're redoing them, and they're going to be better than ever. Right on. So, got to let us know. Yeah. Cool. Appreciate it, man. Thanks, I'm glad, glad you saved another one. Yeah, did. Thank awesome you. Awesome car. Awesome. I'm going to go try and get the keys. All right. <laughs>